First, the Russian researcher at the center of the notorious Steele dossier found not guilty of lying to the FBI. That report alleged collusion between Donald Trump's 2016 campaign and the Kremlin. Is this the final chapter in what's been a years-long investigation into a U.S. presidential campaign, the Russian government, and the FBI? Let's bring in Jamil Jaffer, former DOJ and founder and executive director at the National Security Institute. Jamil, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, for those of us who haven't been following this case, not all of our viewers have, break down exactly what this verdict means. Well, Nicole, this is uh, one of two prosecutions being brought by John Durham, the special prosecutor appointed to look into the so-called Russiagate matter, uh, the Steele dossier and the like, the accusations made against uh, former President Trump of uh, uh, colluding with Russia. Uh, that uh, investigation, as you know, uh, resulted in not just these two prosecutions, uh, but a report uh, that, that a preliminary version of which was released uh, about a year or two back, and now a, a final version will be released soon. Uh, but these two prosecutions have been unsuccessful. One was the prosecution of a Democratic uh, lawyer, Michael Sussman, um, and now the prosecution of Igor Doshenko, an analyst who, as you pointed out, uh, was a key source or a key uh, part of the process behind that Steele dossier. Uh, both cases have now failed to secure convictions. Obviously, a challenge for the special prosecutor, Mr. Durham, uh, and the like. All right, so, Jamel, as you just said, I mean, it's not the first legal blow to Durham to his investigation. Is this finally the end of that probe? It looks like it is. This will be the last prosecution at least brought by Mr. Durham. Uh, he will issue a final report uh, to the Justice Department, uh, you know, outlining uh, to the Attorney General, outlining his findings. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, the question becomes what happens with that report. He's brought the two cases he thought merited criminal prosecution. And unfortunately for him, uh, those, both those cases have not resulted in convictions. And Jamil, before we let you go, you mentioned that report, uh, his final findings. What do you think we'll learn? Well, you know, I think that we'll learn a lot about uh, what happened during the investigation. Obviously, there have been some clear uh, missteps during that investigation. Uh, in particular, uh, the lying by a FBI lawyer to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, uh, you know, sort of boldly, he was prosecuted separately from this matter uh, for that lie um, and ultimately pled out. Uh, but obviously, uh, some of that will come out in this report and the details of how this investigation proceeded over time. All right, Jamil, thank you so much for, for your time. And, and now we had to thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.